Okay, um, my camera cut off, uh, the battery went dead, so I, I had to wait until my battery got charged again. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, this is where I end up showing you how to use these things. Like I said, all you have to do is just put the wick, once it's, you poured your wax, just put your wick in there and it comes up through that little hole and then you, you just eyeball it like that and then just leave it until it's completely cool. Anyway, that's where I left off the last time. Okay, I'm over here. I'm heating my jars. Um, I don't know if I can actually move you to see that. Do not look at my dirty stove. I heat my jars over here with the boiling water beside, and the boiling water is twofold. I dump it into my uh, my pot, my wax melting pot, after I have. Um, finished pouring that particular fragrance. I put it in the sink, I squirt some soap in it, and then I um, dump the boiling water into the pot and let it sit there for a little bit and then I swish it around and then dump it out. And then along with my this and my spoon, and then I uh, dump boiling water down periodically um, during the whole process to make sure that this doesn't set up in my water lines, uh, my drain lines. That would not be good. Alright, now if you notice I have this, uh, I have an electric hot plate. I used to do the, um, the double boiler method and I don't do that anymore. I got, I invested, this is like $17-18 uh, free shipping with Prime off of Amazon and I just, I, this is all it gets used for. And I guess if you have an electric stove, you're pretty much golden because you don't have to you don't have to worry about gas. My gas, I have a gas stove. I don't know what the thing was with the double boiler method. I think it was simply for um, gas stoves. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to measure wax. All right, I'm going to see if I can. Okay, see if I can do it this way. This is what I do. I put my pot on before. And then I turn it on, and it says there's nothing on there, at least nothing that weighs anything. Okay, then I have my wax. I have moved on to buying my wax in 50-pound boxes. I, I have gone through probably, I'm on, let's see, I bought wax at the beginning of November, like a weekend in November, and I just got wax the other day. So I'm going through about 50 pounds every seven to nine days. Okay, and then you just, now for this particular two pint jars, um, the goal, yeah, I forgot, 464, I forgot, I just drew a blank. Two jars, uh, you will need to measure 12.4 twice. 12.4, we're going to do this. I'm just going to watch our little scale. I know, it's a little noisy. Twelve point three, twelve point four, and then what we're going to do is we're going to tear. It's called tearing, and uh, T A R E, and you click that off, and then you pour twelve point four again. That, that's the only way I've been able to do it. I know my math skills suck, even when I have something calculating. But then it turns into pounds and stuff right there. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not, but. And this is a little crinkly. And this is not the bag that 50 pounds comes in. This is the bag that 10 pounds came in. So I just keep refilling this bag. It's nice and sturdy. Now, sometimes what I do is I go ahead and let it go to 12.5. Because it, wax will settle a little bit as it cools. It'll look like it's almost too full, but it'll settle. Okay, take that off. Tear. And then put that on. Tear. Yes, I forgot my paper towels to wipe off any excess. You hear my jars clinking around and the water boiling in the background? Yeah, I'm usually at this for about six hours a day, five days a week. Um, I've moved on to banana nut bread, so this one's got a little bit in it. And for this amount of wax, we're going to use anywhere between 2.9 ounces and 3 ounces. And that's about a 12 ounce fragr or 12 percent fragrance load, which is about all this wax is supposed to take. 
And just watch your little gizzy who there. I might have enough in there. I thought I was going to have to open up another bottle. I will next round. Oops, okay, there. 2.93, barely three. We're good. And that's how that, on that was the Nature's Garden uh, Banana Nut Bread. And see, the, the, I don't know if you can or not, um, the flash point on that is 150. So they're all different. Okay, I'll set that over there. Go ahead and clear this out and turn it off. It takes a 9 volt battery. I've had this for about three years and I still have the same battery in it. Then, what you do is you set it on your thing over here and you just wait to uh, heat it. It heats up to 185. T I take it off and put it on two. This one's got wax all over it. Put it on two um, pot holders. And since I and I have to wait for this one to cool down to 150, from 185 to 150. And yes, I know it sounds. Why do you? Ha why don't you just heat it to 150? I don't know. I tried that other method. Remember, I said the Alex method did not work heating it to 150 and then adding it. But I have to wait. Something about the molecular composition of soy wax and yada yada. And my husband's the chemist, not me. I just do what it tells me to do. I'll cool it down to 150 and then add this, add my, uh, all of that, and, um, stir it up, let it, and it'll probably cool down, cool down to, into the 140s, and then I will let it cool down to between 135 and 140, and then I will pour it in my jars. Here is the thing, here's, here's the secret that was kept from me. It's how much oil do you add to the wax and what kind of wood do you use? And that's what I'm sharing with you. Um, if you want to make one candle, one, one pint candle, melt 12.4 ounces of 464 soy wax and add the oil at the proper temperature, add 1.4 to 1.5 ounces to the wax, stir it. Let it cool down to 135 to 140 and then pour it in your jar after you put the wick in. Don't make a mistake of not putting the wick in. This is the information that was kept from me. Use a CD16 wick and I have had loads of success. Like I said, I've sold hundreds of candles. When I first started making candles, it was, okay, but what kind of wick do I use? Oh, you know, they say, oh, I add this much. Uh, fragrance oil to the wax and it smells wonderful in a pint jar it's like but what kind of wick do you use I watch dozens of videos but what kind of wick do you use and how much and they're saying oh I add one ounce per pound I have yet to pour a candle that takes a pound of wax and I'm not sure if they're meaning the 16 ounce jar but you can't put 16 ounces of wax here's where it gets tricky you can't say, oh, 16 ounces of a pound, okay, I'll melt that much wax and put an ounce of, which I'd use more than an ounce, and put an ounce of, and put an ounce of oil in it. Well, you know what? It's not going to fit in the jar. It's going to be too much wax for the jar. It's a 16 ounce jar, yes, but that's up to the rim, and you have to have a melt pool. So, mine go to 12.4 ounces of soy wax and 1.4 to 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil, it's going to put it just a little bit above this ring on the inside. Just like right there, like right up to there. And when it cools, it's going to sink down, back down just a little bit. But that's your melt pole. You have to have a melt pole. You can't have it all the way up to the top and then start to melt. My God, what a... Remember we just talked about, you know, run for your life if you're if your metal whole, uh, wick bottom is on fire, yeah, you can't, I mean, that's dangerous. So, I'm telling you, this is what works. Pint jar, 12.4 ounces of soy wax, 1.4 to 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil. You have a very well-scented candle. Let it cool put it away, put the lid on it, and tuck it away for five to seven days before you light it. I use um, toenail clippers to uh, clip my wicks. Now, um, the little uh, 
clamshells if you just if you want to make tarts if you want to make clam you can pour those in just about anything but if you want to sell them or you and you have to get the how many ounces is in those clamshells so mine are 2.75 so I had to figure out how much wax to how much oil to fill to, to fill I, I, I do six at a time six clamshells that say they're going to hold 2.75 ounces of wax 14.8 ounces of soy wax or any wax 1.8 ounces of fragrance oil that's that's the that's the formula right there Th like I said this is what was withheld from me whenever I first started making candles so I basically showed you everything how I've done it the equipment that I use uh, like I said these are cheap this is this is not cheap but it it's tempered glass it's made for a laboratory and it's Pyrex and uh, metal spoon two pound pouring pot a seventeen dollar hot plate my daughter got me this um, not sure how much she paid for it she got it on Amazon uh, it was a birthday she said what can I get you for your birthday or Mother's Day or something like that and I sent the link to her and I said I want one of these so I think it was like maybe it was under twenty bucks right around there it still has the original battery and it. it came with the darn thing uh, keep track of when you pour so you'll know when to burn and that's it I don't know if my camera just cut off anyway there you go thanks for watching